What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and if you thought that Lucasfilm had changed, that they've seen the error of their ways, that they would no longer be trashing fans for their opinions, well of course you'd be wrong, because the same people are still working at Disney Lucasfilm who have been there the past 8 years, and Pablo Hidalgo has been one of those people who has gone out of his way over and over and over again to trash the fan base, to trash Star Wars fans. We've seen it for years. But now, Star Wars Theory has a problem with it. Star Wars Theory, the biggest Star Wars YouTube channel, who didn't say anything about this for years, is now coming out and speaking because he is the one who is getting trashed by Pablo Hidalgo. I, I was really surprised when I saw this, to be honest, but this is what happened. Pablo Hidalgo mocks reaction to Luke Skywalker. And this all centers around Star Wars Theory's reaction to Luke Skywalker's appearance in The Mandalorian. Which, if you haven't seen it out there, uh, he has a, a pretty well-known reaction at this point. He was in tears, a lot of tears, when Luke Skywalker came back. Twitter user, and this is from Ichibaka. Shout out Ichibaka. Drunk 3PO is one of the first people on this as well. So shout out to both of them. Twitter user Dune Opinions account recently posted the following. Uh, Star Wars Theory reacts to Luke Skywalker scene. And you can see him in tears in this thumbnail right there, right? There it is. Then he replies to something that was deleted by the tweet author. If you feel compelled to have an emotional reaction to Star Wars, by all means have one. Hell, I almost cried at Crate in the theater, but I've never cried at a movie in my life. I don't officially, or, but don't officially recreate that shit for your millions of followers. So... Obviously, something in there was pretty critical of Star Wars Theory, and it was by Pablo Hidalgo. Um, Star Wars Theory then retweeted this. Pablo Hidalgo's chiming in on this thread, which is making fun of me for being emotional over Luke Skywalker. I don't mind trolls, but I and I can't see what he said, and I'd hate to believe that someone would join in as a Lucasfilm official. Can someone who can see screenshot his replies? Now... I've been critical of Star Wars Theory before because I feel like he doesn't really give his true opinion sometimes. I think sometimes he straddles the line in order to maintain this very nice relationship with Lucasfilm. I'm just being honest. That's how I feel. And he has been silent about the fan treatment from Lucasfilm for a long time. In fact, I th what was it, six months, a year ago, he even said that, you know, hey, I get that some people just want to hate everything. Can't we just talk about what we like? I get that he doesn't want to be a negative guy, but it's ironic that you have ignored the treatment of fans for years in order to make sure that you stay out of the dramas, have this nice relationship with Lucasfilm, and now this happens to you. Now you're going to come out and speak out about the treatment of fans by Lucasfilm. Let's see what happens. Star Wars Theory says, well, here it is. Basically, Pablo validated that post and undermined my emotions. Expecting more from someone so high up at Lucasfilm, that's really shitty to see. And Pablo Hidalgo, emotions are not for sharing. That's what he said. Emotions are not for sharing. Now, not only did he then delete this tweet, but obviously he doesn't care and is kind of proud of it because he made it his, he made it his Twitter uh, headline, the picture on top of his Twitter profile. Look at that. Knowing that the tweet was out there, old Pablo decided to put up on his profile, so bold, so brave. Um, and this is another tweet back from October of last year. Um, it's not even surprising that the intellectual coward who closed himself up in a digital bubble so, so that only his sycophantic yes men could stroke his ego once said this back in 2019. It's not really asking too much. Stay out of my feed. I'll stay out of yours. Uh, well, and then he's then commenting again on the reaction to Luke Skywalker. Now, I, I did not have that kind of reaction to Luke Skywalker where I was in tears or anything like that. Um, but I, there's a lot of people that did. And what Pablo Hidalgo is doing is again attacking all of those people for how they felt for the return of Luke Skywalker. The one thing that Disney has done that seems to have everybody on board for the most part. That is what Pablo is now attacking someone for. A Lucasfilm employee making fun of someone for their reaction, their emotional reaction to the return of Luke Skywalker. This is what Lucasfilm wanted. They wanted people to feel like this. But you still have people in there that hate that people love Luke Skywalker. People like Pablo Hidalgo. 
Star Wars Theory had a bit more to say. Pablo chimes in to make fun, deletes the tweet, then puts one up as his header. How is this acceptable from someone ho so high up at Lucasfilm? You're telling people it's not okay to have emotions about work your company produces and you make fun of them for crying? Not okay. Uh, and then a lot of people have made videos already about this, so I'm not going to be first, that's for sure. But uh, again, where have you been, man? This has been happening for three years. Well, not, not even three years. This has been happening for fucking six years at least. It just wasn't a big deal until The Last Jedi. Then everybody started seeing what was happening as so many people didn't like that movie. But this has been happening to different segments of fandom from Lucasfilm, whether it's the expanded universe community or whatever. It's been happening for years, ever since Disney took over. This has been happening, but no, uh, it doesn't matter. We'll push it aside. I just, whoops. I just want to focus on the good things. I just want to, don't want to focus on the drama while everyone else is getting shotgunned by Lucasfilm, while everyone else is getting shit on by Lucasfilm and their employees. It's not a big deal then, but now it's a big deal because it's finally happening to you. I'm glad that Star Wars Theory is speaking out about this and bringing attention to this because it's deserved. The people working at Lucasfilm are trash. That's why anything that you see from them, anything that you think is going to get better from them is laughable if all of these people are still there. But the fact remains is that I, I really wish Star Wars Theory, the biggest YouTube platform for Star Wars, would have said something about their treatment of fans over the past several years. Not just, oh, you know, I didn't like The Last Jedi, but I understand what they're doing. Not, oh, I like Rise of Skywalker, until it turns out they never had a plan, then you change your mind, because then it became what everybody else was saying. So, thanks Star Wars Theory for bringing attention to this, finally. And I don't even think he was the last one. Itchy made another post. Yeah, Adam Lance Garcia calls Star Wars Theory a grifter. Look at this. Interesting now. And Uber show Adam Lance Garcia responds to a comment made by Pablo Hidalgo. In Star Wars Theory's defense, he is in fact a grifter. Wait, not defense, the other thing. Uh, SJWs don't understand the definition of the word grifter. They only know it's trendy to use in 2020 the same way that incel was trendy in 2019. So Adam wouldn't be aware that it actually doesn't apply here. And uh, Pablo commented again in the same thread. Uh, we can't see what he said. We can't see what he said there, but someone did respond only if it comes with a four-hour commentary. Maybe that will leak eventually as well from one of the, the 250 people that actually follow Pablo Hidalgo on his protected account. Uh, overall, not a good look for Lucasfilm, is it? And Star Wars Theory is going to shred these guys. Maybe all of these people would have been called toxic fans, toxic man babies, if someone with that big a platform had spoke out earlier. If someone with that big a platform had seen what was happening at Lucasfilm and decided to say something instead of keeping everything nice and drama free because he wanted his relationship with Lucasfilm to remain kosher. But we're here right now. What will happen in the future now that he is calling them out? Let me know in the comments and smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.